usually you'll see confirmations go out during the year-end audit process. Now, the standards also say that it's not enough to say that I sent out a confirmation and the, the customer didn't respond, right? And I'm going to take that as a positive, that because they didn't respond, this balance is correct, right? You have to perform follow-up procedures. SAS 67, when positive confirmations are used, you have to follow, follow up procedures um, to ensure, for those confirmations that have not been returned by the customer, to get, gather evidence about the amount recorded. Okay. And so those follow up procedures usually entail subsequent cash receipts. And that's probably the best alternative procedure. And because you're there after year end and you're confirming as of year end, um, you're probably going to see cash collections on that account, right? You're probably going to see, because most companies will have a 30-day uh, window for customers to pay them, and so you, by the time you come in to do the audit, you've probably seen, uh, you can see that the subsequent cash receipts have been received um, on, on those, uh, those balances. So that's probably the best, because obviously, if I didn't owe you any money, why would I pay you? Right? The customer's not going to pay just because. Um, you could also look at duplicate sales invoices um, to verify the actual issuance of a, a sales invoice and a in, uh, billing date. And again, keep in mind <clears throat> that when you're doing this, you've, you, the, audit for, the auditor to be able to rely on this, duplicate sales invoices, they would have to have tested uh, controls over the sales transaction process as well as gather information about the, the amounts recorded in the sales journal. So they would have, in other words, have to satisfy, at this point, would have to have satisfied assertions related to sales and transactions. I'm sorry, transactions and events related to sales, right? Um, and another way, obviously, that I think is probably more accurate than duplicate sales invoices is shipping documents. So all that really tells you, though, at this point, is that tells you that it's a valid accounts receivable, right? If I shipped it, um, I did process a sale for this customer, and so there's a, a corresponding receivable. But the, probably the most, the most used uh, alternative procedure would be first to look at subsequent cash collections, and then if there's not been a cash receipt associated with that receivable, then to look at either shipping documents or duplicate sales invoices. So let's take, we